Hello everyone, it's Ty's Fan Club, and welcome back to another video. And I know you guys are probably wondering why the mood of this video is not so silly as it usually is. That's because today I'm talking about more of a serious topic, and I feel it should be serious. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about things to expect as a new booTuber. I got this video idea because I have been seeing a lot of booTubers around in the community, and I want to give a heads out for them basically about what they're getting themselves into. With that being said, let's get right on to the video. But before we get started on the video, I want to put a few disclaimers. Some things I say in this video, not everyone might agree with. If you do not agree with the things I'm saying in this video, or anyone who comments, please try not to argue with them. And if you do say something, please try to be very respectful to me and anyone who comments. First, I'm going to be talking about what to expect as a new booTuber or just a new YouTuber in general. One thing you're probably going to see a lot in the community is that a lot of people want subscribers. And by the way, I want to thank all of you amazing 600 plus subscribers. It really means a lot to me. But you might see a lot of booTubers that have a lot of subscribers. And it is completely okay to want subscribers. It's completely fine. It's normal, actually. But just remember that getting subscribers is not easy at all. It's really difficult. I feel like in the YouTube community and in the booTube community, people can expect not getting subscribers very quickly. However, that does not mean you will never grow. <laughs> it does happen, it just takes a little bit. And you might start BooTube thinking, oh, I'm gonna get lots of subscribers and lots of people going to love me. And yes, that will eventually happen, but it just takes time. And it takes a lot of work and effort. In my opinion, one of the best things you could possibly do on YouTube to grow is just post consistently. And I know that's me saying that, and I post not consistently at all. <laughs> but yes, the magic secret to growing on YouTube is to post consistently. But that is definitely not the only thing you can do to try to grow. So let's get into topic two. Figuring out what your community is. What is your genre? What do you want to do with BooTube? There's so much to do and at the same time so little. When I started out on BooTube, I really loved doing BBMVs, which are Beanie Boo music videos. I will link some of mine down in the description below if you'd like to watch them for inspiration or whatever reason. However, now I'm doing videos like hauls and tips for BooTube, really. So the basic idea is choose something that you want to do now, but don't expect it to be the same thing in a year or so. YouTube changes, BooTube changes, and you will change as well. But it is completely okay to not do the same content and to change up your channel a little bit. What matters most is that you're enjoying making it and that your viewers are enjoying watching it. Now on to the third topic not reaching your goals. In a lot of BooTubers descriptions, or at least some of them, I see a lot of subscriber goals. And it is completely okay to have subscriber goals. I always wanted to have 500 subscribers. But most of the time, you can imagine that your subscriber goals are not going to come quickly, to say the least. One of the final things you would expect as a new BooTuber is a lot of stress. As I mentioned before, if you want to grow on YouTube, you have to post consistently. That's just it. And sometimes you are not able to post every single day of every single week of every single month of every single year. That's completely okay. But just so you know, it is going to be a very bumpy ride, a very stressful ride to post a lot. And those feelings are completely okay and completely normal. If you do feel stressed out, I would consider taking a break for a little bit and then coming back with some new fresh ideas. Or to create a posting schedule. If you're starting out on BooTube, I would highly recommend a posting schedule of once to twice a week or Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Now, after what I've said, you might feel like, should I join BooTube or is it gonna be too stressful? Short answer is, I don't know. If you are very passionate about BooTube, then I would definitely do it. It's really worth the price if you're passionate about it. But if you're just trying it out for a little bit, then don't expect to grow quickly and expect some stress. And maybe consider joining at a time when you feel that you can do it. With that being said, here are some things to look out for that might make you feel bad. 
Number one, when booktubers have a lot of subscribers and you feel like you barely have any. One of the secrets here is that you can buy subscribers. Disclaimer, not every single booktuber buys subscribers. I don't personally, and I know a lot of booktubers who don't, but it is a thing that could happen and I've seen it happen before. And no, I do not recommend buying subscribers. Do it at your own risk. In my opinion, buying subscribers really doesn't help your channel. It just kind of makes you look bad. But no hate whatsoever at all to anyone who does. And I'm not saying attack them for it. Don't do that at all. That's not okay. I'm just saying that if you feel stuck in the med and you feel like other booktubers are growing way quicker than they should be, then they might not have a real audience. That's all I'm saying. And don't let it bog you down. Just do what you want to do and focus on yourself. Even though that sounds really corny. Now, I've been talking a lot about what to expect with BootTube and some things that are not so fun about it. But you might be wondering, what are some tips you have for me to grow? And as a fellow BootTuber to any BootTuber who is watching right now that wants to grow, whether you're new or you've been here for a little bit, I would recommend three things. One, always put a lot of effort into your videos and try to edit them the best you can. I've been editing for a really long time now, so I think I'm pretty okay at it, but there's always room for improvement with editing. And if you want people to appreciate your content, then you could consider editing. Although, I know a lot of successful booktubers who do not edit their videos. Number two is showing support. If you see a booktuber that you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and consider commenting. Number three, the final one, is never ever quit. As I've said before, there is a lot of things that can cause you stress in BooTube and a lot of things that might make you feel bad. But no matter what, if BooTube is something you enjoy and you like collecting these little things, you should never quit doing it. If you feel like quitting, I would highly recommend taking a break. And if you truly feel happier on that break, then it's completely okay to quit. And it's okay to take a week's break or a month's break as much as you need. With that being said, we are nearing the end of this video. As I said before, please be respectful to the community guidelines of YouTube and be respectful in the comments. I hope this video helped anyone who was feeling bad or anyone just starting BooTube and wasn't really sure what this community was about. And that, my friends, is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!